Welcome back to Capcom Fighters. And we had an incredible weekend of action here in the UK and Ireland. CPT and I am absolutely delighted to say that a brand new name is making his way to Capcom Cup 8 with a brand new character that has never before been seen at the Capcom Cup. We have got the four fills, the champ, and he is taking Falk to the Capcom Cup. Kim, what's going on, man? Welcome. Thank you so much for talking to us. Like, has it all set in yet? Like, has have you even uh, that you're going to Capcom Cup? It's still sinking in right now, to be honest. It's still sinking in. But honestly, I'm just really happy I was able to do it. Honestly, just really proud of myself as well. Uh, I, I want to go through your run because, you know, uh, right. some people might think that, oh, you know, how did this guy get to Cap He might have got through there. Uh, who did he avoid? Who did he not? You played and beat everybody. Uh, you beat Bolt Strike to get into top 16. You beat Infectious in your first top 16 match. Uh, you beat Shivs. You beat Hurricane. You beat Problem X. What a list of players that is. And I know, you know, you've had extensive history playing against a lot of these guys in tournaments, but can you believe that you managed to beat all of them in succession uh, to take it this time around? To be honest, it was kind of a surprise for me as well. The only time I beat Hurricane and Problem X, to be honest, is when it's really my day. And I think today was just one of those days. Everything was just aligning for me, to be honest. Yeah, it was a really tough run, but I'm glad I was able to clutch it out. You said, uh, you know, it may be your day, bro. I don't know, like, what better days you can have. Maybe you'll have a better day at yeah. Capcom Cup. That's possible. You never know. But what yeah. a day it was. Going into the Infectious matchup, obviously had a couple of hours to prepare for that. Infectious yep. is a player that we don't really see very often in these online tournaments, like your Sort Minds, your Winner Stays Ons, your UK and Ireland Reddits, um, Discords. So, you know, how did you prepare for Infectious? Just as much as I didn't really prepare for Infectious, I don't think Infectious really prepared for me either. Mm. So it's a weird one, right? I haven't played him this year at all. And last mm. year, very, very minimal. So I think it was a surprise for both of us. I didn't even know which character he was going to pick. Uh, you know what? I, I feel like I've... Uh... I've jumped ahead a little bit too much and I've gone straight into uh, the tournament. Obviously, the tournament's very important, but I've I've just taken for granted that, you know, I've followed you, I know what you've been doing. Um, but you're still relatively new to the community. Like, how long have you been playing Street Fighter for? I've played Street Fighter Five since season one. I didn't really get decent at the game until around season around the end of season two i would say mm. and uh yeah my first offline event was bracket reset it was pretty good uh, That's where in terms of in terms of getting involved with the community as well like uh you've been streaming yeah. uh how long you've been streaming for and how beneficial has that been uh, for you in terms of improving because not only do you stream you also create a lot of content you've been you know fleshing out falc you've you've really innovated a lot of stuff with falc uh, how yeah. has going through that process built you up as a player? It's been very beneficial, to be honest. Coming into the scene, um, people in the UK did know about me when I was going to these uh, locals and stuff. But to really get your name out there when I was streaming, it definitely brought more attention to me, which was uh, pretty good for myself and my brand and everything. And like, yeah, if you're not winning every event, it's quite hard to get your name outside of like your local scene. So streaming definitely does help with that content creation youtube all of that definitely plays a big part well hopefully uh we see a lot more international recognition now that you've uh, secured this uh place at capcom cup eight uh and you really have announced your arrival on the world stage uh speaking of the world stage you know how many have, have you ever been to an offline event outside of england yet um no never furthest i've gone was egx 2019 i believe Crazy. So you've never competed outside of the UK at all? Never. Never. Be my first this, time. Man, this man, ladies and gentlemen, by the way, is not sponsored. I said this on the stream. Uh, please hit him up because this man, he's just beaten a who's who cast of the UK talent. Guys that have won EVO, guys that have finished uh, third at EVO, I think it was. You know, guys that have placed very highly, at things like Red Bull Kumite, uh, Capcom Cup qualifiers, guys that have won multiple events all over the world. He's beaten them. He's earned his place. He hasn't been able to travel. 
let's fix that please uh so uh let's talk about the tournament as well uh you know you, you had to be hurricane and problem x to take the whole thing um you know obviously you play them all the time in tournament in the salt mines mm -hmm. is probably where we see you compete most often uh, but you know yep. you're there when uh, wso as well when it when it happens uh, offline these guys you've been playing against for a long time you play a lot of sets against them you know them very well uh, they know you very well what happened today that that made you win like why were you able to win today you said oh it might just be my day but what was it that was different about today well to be honest every time i'll talk about how i usually lose right mm -hmm. then it might make sense as to why i won i'll talk about hurricane specifically so i usually lose to hurricane i know i do complain about the matchup a lot but every time i lose when i watch back the replays i made mistakes the difference this time was that i made minimal mistakes as to making more mistakes than i usually would so i think i just honestly today was the day where i just fixed up i didn't make the same mistakes twice against yeah, problem X, i'd say honestly i play problem x a lot but i wouldn't say we play all the time because we don't play battle on this all the time but when it comes to tournaments we do meet up quite a lot so mm. To be honest, I he's made me really good at the Bison matchup. When I see Bison, I'm not scared unless I see Problem X as Bison. Mm -hmm. That matchup is just I don't I don't know I don't know what to say. But yeah, I knew he was gonna pick Bison out of all his characters because that's the matchup he plays, and I'm just glad I did well. I don't know what to say about how I won that, but I won it. Uh, we've seen you switch around characters as well in that matchup. I've seen you play Ed in that matchup yeah. as well. Like, is there a reason for that? Like, do you feel it's a bad matchup for Falk? Yeah, it's definitely a bad matchup for Falk. As you saw, I picked Akira for the first game. The yeah. only reason I did that is because I was in winners and I would do it game one. And if it went bad, which it did, I switched to Falk immediately. Mm. It was just an experiment at first. I've never played problem with Akira since he came back from like Street Fighter League and all of that. So mm. I wanted to experiment to see how it goes. So that's why I did that in the first game. Right? Akira is still relatively new and stuff. So yeah, I just wanted to test it out. Definitely didn't work out though. So I stuck to my guns. You definitely did stick to your guns. We went back to the character that got the results for you. And Falk is the one that's got you to Capcom Cup. I'm really excited to see that, man. Um, out of the players that you know that are already qualified, you know, is there anyone in particular that you're really looking forward to going up against? Because, of course, apart from, you know, stuff like EGX, when we get internationals coming over, you would have never had the opportunity to play against players like this. Right. I'm, I'm excited to play against uh, Higuchi, actually, mm. because because they do have a uh, really good Falk representation in um, the Asia region. So I'd like to see how they play against Falk with a Falk, with my Falk. Because over here, people know how to play against Falk. Over there, they have different Falks. The Falks use different V triggers, different V skills. They have different strategies. Shouts to um, Zabeth as well over there, Minagi. I could, the list goes on. But I would like to see what game plan they come with. Absolutely, we saw Zabeth putting in work in that top. He got top eight, right, in uh, Japan too. Yeah, so, well, do you feel least. like, um, you know, do you feel like now with the, uh, I think it's like two, at least two seasons of solid buffs on top of buffs that Falk has received. Do you feel like yes. now Falk is a character that can really compete against, uh, you know, the the top characters in this game, or do you think that you know just playing Falk is too hard in a in a major open bracket? Well, I would definitely say just playing Falk is too hard if you want to be consistent all the time. She mm -hmm. can win, but if you want to be consistent all the time, it's too hard. You will need that secondary character that you will bring out for only really three matchups, really. It's only, I would say, Let us know. so Dalsim, Bison, and I would say Borog. Dawson by some Borog, those are the only matchups I'd say you absolutely need. You would really want a secondary. I complain about the Kami matchup, but it's a playable matchup. Mm. It's just really hard, you know.
you know, what's it like for you competing uh, as a young player and seeing other players around the world uh, able to go head to head with with some players like, you know, like Daigo, for example, that have been playing Street Fighter for 20 plus years? Honestly, it's amazing because I started playing Street Fighter 5. I was playing in season one, but I never had the intentions of competing at first. I was watching everyone else. I was watching Daigo. I was watching Momochi. I was watching Pablo. I was watching everyone, right? with no intention of competing. I'm not sure when I decided I wanted to compete. I think it was around the same time I started streaming. But mm. honestly, I think it's the best decision I ever made on, on this it. game. Congratulations, Kim. The four fills, an amazing performance. You won today. You beat a who's who list of UK's top players to earn your spot at Capcom Cup 8. Uh, and I really look forward to seeing you then. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you very much. Uh, anyone you want to big up? Any shout outs? Plug your stream, big man. Up. Plug everything. Hey, shout outs to the Falcoholics. They know who they are. All right. Shout outs to the Falcoholics. Shout outs to everyone that was supporting. My Twitter is blowing up. I'll respond to every single one of you. I appreciate that. If you want to see more from me, check out twitch.tv slash the four fills. I stream on Twitch every day. Okay. Mm-hmm. Every day. I'm always there. Always there. If you can't, if you can't remember what I said, just check out my Twitter. Link to my stream is in my bio. All right? Let's go.